over half of us live in an urban environment. My home too is here in the city of London. Looking down on this great metropolis, the ingenuity with which we continue to reshape the surface of our planet is very striking. But it's also sobering. It reminds me of just how easy it is for us to lose our connection with the natural world. Yet it's on this connection that the future of both humanity and the natural world will depend. It's surely our responsibility to do everything within our power to create a planet that provides a home not just for us, but for all life on Earth.
right now, we are facing a man-made disaster of global scale. Our greatest threat in thousands of years. In the last 50 years, wildlife populations have on average declined by 60%. For the first time in human history, the stability of nature can no longer be taken for granted. As far as we know, there have been five major extinction events on our planet. Events caused by changes so severe that many species simply can't adapt and, as such, die out. Right now, we are in the midst of the Earth's sixth mass extinction. It's almost impossible to grasp, as we go about our lives, that the rest of life on Earth is experiencing destruction. The impacts of our growing population and our consumption now directly threaten our own future. If we don't take action, the collapse of our civilizations and the extinction of much of the natural world is on the horizon. But consider these facts. Just 30 years ago, most whale species, including the blue whale, were heading towards extinction. A public outcry led to a global agreement to protect whales. And now most populations are recovering. We've subsequently learned how important whales are to the entire ocean system, including the fish that we eat. So saving these majestic creatures actually benefits us as well. What we did to save the whales, we must now do for all nature. I've always believed that few people will protect the natural world if they don't first love and understand it. Nature once determined how we survive. Now we determine how nature survives. Together, we can make real change happen. The natural world is not just nice to have. It fundamentally matters to each and every one of us. Never has it been more important to understand how the natural world works and how to help it. The people have spoken. Leaders of the world, you must lead. The continuation of our civilizations and the natural world upon which we depend is in your hands.